everyone, I'm back with an update about my college planner. Uh, last time I just gave you a bit of an overview for what I was uh, thinking that I was going to use everything. Uh, but now the first semester is over and the second semest semester is about to begin. Uh, I had my exams and everything so I think it's the right moment to just do a quick update about how I use it, um, what I use with it and uh, what I discovered came in very handy. Um, maybe we'll start with this one because that's the one it usually starts with. Um, this is my uh, wiki dory. I got it at the beginning of the first semester actually and it just holds uh, just like last time, three notebooks and a planner. Uh, the planner came in very handy because this is the one that always came with me. So anything for school, I could very easily write in uh, to the planner. And... Uh, yeah, it gave a very good overview. You always had something with you uh, where you could easily just write in everything from school and only school. So it's very... Um, you get a very good overview. Also the folder I got from Annika Hamby, this one, um, came in very handy just to store some papers. for school and everything. This one should come out since I don't need it anymore. Yeah, uh, now usually what I do in school is I have my my laptop uh, that I'm taking with me to school and there I usually just take notes. Uh, we get uh, PowerPoint uh, slides uh, before the class, usually, not always, and uh, I just open them up, them up on my computer and type my notes in them, uh, because that way you're not re rewriting information um, or you're not um, forgetting. I, you always know where your notes belong um, because if I'm just noting on a separate piece of paper it's difficult to keep track of what slide the professor is on so I'm always just trying to keep my slides on the computer open that way also when um, they're only putting on the, the slides right before the class. You can still download, download them when you're in the class from the online forum and you always have them with you. Um, so that's what I put on here. And then when I get home, I use that and other information that I got from class. And sometimes also the things I was writing and drawing in here because sometimes you need to make um, you know make a sketch of something that the professor was explaining in the class from anatomy or, or, or something else or it's just nice if you sketch it out uh, and therefore I'm always taking this with me um, and then usually when I get come home I take my computer and all the notes that I made there and I take the the book belonging to uh, the notebook belonging to the class and I just review all my notes and 
just one color very fast very well this is quite neat but um more just write down everything i remember from the class review it uh, just put down some important points on in the notebook and then what i do i go back to my computer and i actually make um, well my what's it called again not that one that one I just make a very neat um, review of the entire class and that I print out uh, and put into my actual college binder, my doggy book, because that way I have a very nice overview uh, of the class without actually having to always keep all the powerpoints um, close or, or printing, printing them all off. And I make sure that any notes I made myself, I also put into um, into my review and yeah and then from here I usually take my is it either my um, notebook again or just a piece of, of paper or the, the index cards and I just start writing whenever I have to study uh, for my exams. So this all has, has to be done before I start studying and then while I'm studying I just take I just write and and try to with index cards, with flashcards, I just try to get it everything, get everything in my head. So that's basically how I'm using everything. Also in the front here I have uh, the monthly chart that I printed off uh, from my Dara Fish inserts and uh, I just every month I just put on uh, put my tasks on there everything that I had to get done in the color of the specific um, class and then for January. January is just in the entire exam month. So here I just put every uh, class um, and put everything in there, every uh, chapter in there. And then the period that I have to um, study. So this one was my first exam. Uh, I had it on the 18th so I had that entire box where I could study it then two days later I had my next exam then you have that box and then two days after that I had my last exam and then this is just my thesis that just continues throughout the year but I still had to keep a little bit track of that while uh, doing the exams that's why I also put that in there. I didn't really check much off apart from two tasks that I still had to do because I was um, ill in December. So I had to get these two done while studying for my exams. Um, so one was very early, one was quite late. Um, but everything else I just needed something visual to see like okay I have this much to do I have that much time how is everything going I was originally planning on keeping track on it but after a while I was just going and I stopped checking it off because it took too much time to really do that the other thing I did do uh, was use my monthly uh, 
layout just to I'm not sure how well you can see this but um, yeah just the monthly view and um, here I just put up uh, putting like January 2016 all the dates and then every day what um, class I'm going to study not very specifically specific what I'm going to do that day um, because I had a very nice overview here but just so that I, have, I had everything evenly spaced out and for every class I had the same amount of time where to get to my exams so one other thing I really noticed was that this is the monthly layout only works during the exam because other times I really don't need it since I have my uh, monthly calendar in my uh, Wikidori so I just have that and that's actually enough I usually keep the, those two if I take out this I usually take out this so I didn't need it double and another thing I noticed is that I do that I do use um, my um, e-reader quite a lot since there were uh, some um, a lot of texts that I had to read and I also often put my um, my powerpoints on my ear reader because it's a lot easier to take out on my computer and obviously if you take out your ear reader you don't actually have internet so if you just take it out and put it up somewhere it was usually right in front of me um, on my desk it's just as good to read as uh, it is on my computer but it's just a lot easier to handle and it takes up a lot less room if you're trying to study and usually when I study I'm quite messy so yeah I really really loved um, using my e-reader just to get everything done and it, it became a really really handy tool also to take on the train with me going to the exams that uh, sometimes I would just use uh, some of the just take like the, the entire pack of printed pages and the other time I would just take my entire uh, e-reader because it was lighter <laughs> and yeah well it, it's probably a bit um, all over the place but I was just trying to give a little update and a little bit of an overview in the way that I use my um, my college planner and my Wikidori and anything else that I use so yeah I hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up if you would like more college planner videos or any other planner videos um, please subscribe if you have any comments or any more questions please comment in uh, down below and 
in the end. I hope to see you next time. Bye.